Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we got a cage for Sparky. Sparky, what's going on bro? <laughs> yeah, he's excited about the cage. And I got Marcus here with me. So basically Sparky needs a little place to be at night because he's all over the place and uh, he leaves little bombs and stuff everywhere. So the brand is Midwest Homes for Pets. So here's what's included, eight panels of 24 by 24. And that's what it looks like guys. And it's not just for dogs. It's also for your other critters. But in any case, so this was a pretty good price. I think it was around $30 for this little cage here. So let's pop it open. And it's heavy, by the way, guys. It's, I don't know how many pounds, but, well, let's see. UPS on their label there said it's 20 pounds. So. All right. This looks like steaks. Like if you wanted to stake it outside so it wouldn't move. All righty. Whoa, that's pretty heavy. And it looks like it's already maybe connected, or is it? I can't tell. There just looks like some kind of latches here. Some hardware here. Oh, there's an instruction manual. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, so the thing that's holding them all together is right here in the middle. And you just gotta pop it open, looks like. And that's what releases the pack. And now it can unfold. Oh, so it's basically already folded, but you had to put it in a circle. Yeah, it's already folded. You just gotta unfold it all. All right, Marcus, let's stand it up, bro. Go hold that side over there. So, Why? yeah. That's pretty big. So it could be like a fence. That is pretty big. So let's see if you guys we can give you a better view here, but that's the size of it. It's a pretty decent size. Open. So it has a door, guys. It's so cool. So Sparky can jump in there and we can lock him in. And that's it. He's already investigating it. Sparky, what do you think about your cage, huh? You like it? So yeah, guys, I guess you could build like a rectangle out of this thing if you wanted to. Oh, Instead yeah, of a circle. So if you wanted like a rectangle, it could be a rectangle. Sparky, come on. Close him up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what in the world? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna climb out of that. I think this is a perfect size for him, for now at least. <laughs> Sparky, are you in a cage? He's like, this is not right. It's like, this is not human. <laughs> Humane. It's okay, Sparky, you're only gonna be in there at night. So you don't trash the whole house. Okay, Sparky, you wanna come play? Come on. Come on, call him out. There you go, good job there, buddy. All right, guys, so looking at these little instructions here, there's supposed to be four of these, and that's what holds the cage together, I guess, at the end, which is kind of weird, to be honest. I was looking at these, and apparently two of these things are broken. This one right here doesn't have a spring in it, so... Oh, it just fell out. There's only two that are working, unfortunately, it looks like. And this one is completely broken, too. So that's kind of unfortunate that they send us defective parts. Okay, he's going crazy now. Oh, man, he's taking the manual. <laughs> it's okay, I don't think we need it. Look at it. So, yeah, guys, this is what we have to deal with now. This little guy right here. Ah, 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 no biting. No biting, Spark. Okay. All right, so I guess the idea is, is that you take one of these clamps and you clamp it like that to keep it together. All right, guys, let's check out what these corner stabilizer things are for. All right, so it looks like you get quite a few of them. All right, guys, so after messing around with it, we finally figured out that it makes like a 45 degree corner. And it makes it into a corner basically where it's more stable. So basically, if you want to make a circle out of this thing, you know, you would use these guys here. And then go down and that's it. And it kind of holds it together in the corner. And it's pretty good overall, seems like. As you can see, there's a pretty good amount of room in there if you make a circle. Okay, put Sparky in. Now Sparky, what do you think about this cage, huh? I think he's gonna like it. Sparky, what do you think? You like this cage? <laughs> so yeah, overall seems like a great cage for around $30. Definitely a useful thing if you got a dog that you want to keep in. They have taller ones that are, you know, this is their shortest model. They have ones that get taller and taller, but I don't know how much bigger they get. I guess if you did want it bigger, you could extend them. If you bought two, you could make it twice as big, so. <laughs> and not to mention, it comes with these stakes here that, you know, if you want to permanently mount it to the grass, or should I say to the ground, where it doesn't move around, you know, you can poke these stakes in like this all around. But yeah, Sparky, he's kind of a small dog. He's a toy dog, so he should be more than fine in this little cage. All right, guys, so that'll be it for this video. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this little unboxing and setup of the Midwest exercise pin. I guess that's what they call them, exercise pin. I kept calling it a cage, but... And I love how it comes with this door here. Because some of them don't come with a door, and it, I can't imagine not having a door. you got to have a door to get in and out, so... Alright guys, well thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to get a cage like this, or there's a bunch of different other options, I'll leave a link in the description, so check that out. If you enjoy videos like this, and you want to see more, and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!